Uh, M- Mr. Capota, we're live. Who said you could talk? I was... He He's supposed to be... Why is he not listening? I thought I was getting another Meeps. What is this guy? Uh, he's... He's your assistant. That's what you asked for. No, it? I and said specifically I wanted someone who could sing or play music, had some sort of magical musical talent in any way, shape, or form. I expected either a Meeps or... What is this guy? I mean, he's a really good worker, just like Meeps. He just ruined the first minute of broadcasting. You know, I have heard who his uncle is, and I don't care. I want that to be clear. I want someone who's going to be competent, has some musical talent, and and, and get, get, put him on something else. I don't want him in here. I mean, have you ever heard him sing? No. Yeah, he, he it's really he's a really good singer. This is like that time you said Silas was a really good singer, and then I asked him to sing, and it, he did not <laughs> sing well at all. He was not happy about that. It's because you got to get him boozed up first. Oh, okay. So, so yeah. okay. Drinking songs he's good at. Well, at no, least that... no, no. It's normal songs he sings. He just can't do it sober. Well, I will keep that in mind. It's really funny when he starts doing the lightning rail songs. And then he's and he goes like he goes like the conductor stones on the lightning rail go buzz 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 buzz, buzz and it's really good. That sounds. Amazing. I can't wait to hear more. I'm so yeah. excited about it. I'm sorry I doubted you. I've been a little antsy lately. Things have been not going well, as you know. But today... Is it your friend Phil again? What? No, yeah, I haven't heard from him in months. Oh. No, no, no. The problem is you have this idiot who doesn't know what he's doing. And he's running around here. He I do... I mean it! I'm sorry. He's new. And I shouldn't be mean to him. Mm-hmm. We'll find something better for him to do, or I will take my money elsewhere, and that'll be that. You know, I think, I think we should do, we, we should do the thing. Oh, that's right. I I brought you in here today because, uh, we got something, and this time it is tentacled, like some of the other times, but in a surprising way. Like... So, okay, so the other day we were going through some stuff and we are having just a normal day, you know, just burning through things, bringing in monsters. We've been doing it for a while. You understand. And we decided to throw up some ingredients and we threw up some stuff and it didn't work. And then we tried some more and it didn't work. You know how it is summoning in things. You just, you try, you, you do your best. And then when we were summoning up something, we took a break. And we went out, and we went to that new street vendor. He has a little new things, the tacos. Ta- tacos. Is that how you say it? Oh, tacos? Yeah, that's the one, yeah. So he had those. And we brought him back here. And we're eating, and we're having a good time. And someone left him on the stage. And it turns out that that was the missing ingredient we needed. And we got something that you're not going to believe. I, I mean, I don't believe a lot of stuff that happens down here. So... I know that you're a fan of flumps, and I'm a fan of flumps, and we've both seen flumps, and we've talked about flumps, and you like the pink ones, and I like the green ones, and we've well, seen the I red mean, ones, I mean, and we've te- seen the blue ones. Te- yeah. Technically, they're different colors based on, like, their moods. I've only ever seen the green ones. What does that mean? Oh, <laughs> boo. Keep talking. It's okay. Well, I found one that is huge. And purple. Mm. We only brought him in for a couple of seconds because, you know, we got to get nervous. We're going to try it again now. So here are the ingredients that we have. We have one of these tacos. We're going to put that down there. And then uh, we found it was a magically enchanted lightning guitar that we were working on prototypes for, for the electrical guitar that they talked about. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, so we had a couple of prototypes laying around and we used one of those. And then we found these playbills for some old play called Nachum Librum. I don't know what that is. Nachum Librum. Like, that sounds, I mean, it sounds elvish. I'm not sure, but we have these playbills from that one. And then uh, this book, some guy wrote about a bunch of sand. I don't know anything about it. I'm not going to read it. And then lastly. Hold on. What book? 
dunes, sand dunes, sands. I, I, I'm not, I was not reading it. Oh, okay. Did you want the book? No, it's fine. Okay. And then the last but not least is, uh, we have this here. It is a set list from a band. I think it's a Carnathy military band, uh, headed by Sergeant Pepper. I don't know who he is, but it looks like a marching band. He seems like a lonely guy. So, Pepper doesn't sound like a Carnathy name, though. Yeah, but where else would it be? Who else has marching bands? You're right. And so now that we have all those ingredients, we summon him. I don't even have to explain to him because he knows what's going to happen. I don't. Do Flump speak? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Common? Yeah. Okay, well, this. I, then maybe I will explain to him. Yeah, they and then they also like they go in your head. All right, well, let's get the warlocks on it. Let's go, fellas. Wait, they're warlocks now. I thought they were mages. Listen, I'm just calling them whatever they want. They have unionized and they have decided that they are no longer going by mages. They would prefer warlocks. Apparently, how, it gets women. I don't know. How did you? I'm not gonna ask. All right, summon them in. <laughs> Welcome back, my friend. You beautiful purple squid oh my monster. Gosh. He's so pretty. They are so pretty. I have three rules, I'm sure. You remember them from last time. I have bound you in the confines of this summoning circle. In order to be released into the time-space reality you come from, you must follow all rules. Answer a, a few short questions and play a song. Oh, wait, I guess they're not going to play a song or answer questions. I mean, they could. Do they speak? Yeah. I thought they only, like, re they understood. I didn't realize no, they spoke. No, like, they can go... Like, oh, in my like head, in but we're not going to hear stuff. that, though. I don't know. We could. Okay, rule two. Please keep any and all information that could alter the fabric of reality, understanding, or cosmic secrets strictly to yourself. Rule three. Have fun. I need to add more rules. I feel like I'm being not strict enough. They just keep uh, breaking them. Strict those rules. <laughs> what are you, a gnome? <laughs> that joke was utterly hilarious. <laughs> so, oh goodness, he wasn't making the noises last time. I didn't realize he made noises, dude. Like that's just what Flumps do like they just make noises and look if they're pink it means they're gonna do the uh the old no oh god no why oh, would they do yeah. that and then when 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 they're blue, that I means those are just like whatever, man. So then let me ask you. Yeah. Can you feel your tongue? Because I can feel my, it's a thick boy in my mouth. No, mine's like like a flat plate. Tongue. Look. Look. Oh. It's like a flat plate. Oh, don't, don't take it out. No. Why not? Because you, you got to use that to talk. Hey, Mr. Flump, do you have a tongue? The <laughs> he said it again. <laughs> I'm the Flump! I'm the Flump! <laughs> Man, he is just a oh, calming presence. Dude, this is nice. I, you know what? Hey. Um, we need to just have him over more. He can hang out in the hey, tavern. Kevin. Do you ever realize that you breathe? No. <laughs> I feel it. And it's just like I can feel all of it. Does, does he 
Does the head breathe too? He's got a mouth. Does it ever look like he's eating me? <laughs> you know, I can kind of see how you thought that they're, um, it's a, it's a cow. I can see why you thought it was a cow. This is not a cow. It was a biscuit. Oh, it was a biscuit. Man, I was mean to Treble. Uh, well, uh, Who? Uh, the, the gnome. What's, Man, what's my. Cause that was a tricky name to say. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's looking Treble. at me. Treble. Dude, uh, don't look at me. I'm not. That's the head that's looking at you. It's I'm like looking there's... at the head. Do you ever notice the fumps? Like, they don't stand. They're like... 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 Air jellyfish. Are there land jellyfish? There's gotta be a fire jellyfish. There's a goddamn canyon. <laughs> He's been in here the whole time. Silas keeps kicking him out. He's just running. Listen, Tifers just just wants to be Tifers sometimes, you know. Do you ever think that maybe when we summon these people here, someone's going to summon us to their world? Is there another Aloofy? Yeah. I met her once. And then some adventurers killed her. Why? Because she wasn't me. We're supposed to be doing a thing right now. I asked a question, you ask one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. It's just... What does the purple mean? Did he answer? He didn't answer me. Is he answering you in your brain? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Do you think the head protects me from his brain thoughts? That's not what's protecting you, Kevin. <laughs> uh, hey, Mr. Fump. Is your head a pillow? That's a good answer. What happened? Why does my brain feel weird? Are your fingers tingly? My fingers are tingly. A little bit, yeah. And like, like they were, like you're, like asleep. Yeah, it feels like my hands are numb, and then I can taste metal. Brass. I've got brass. I got like. You know when you eat meat on a stick? And then like a week later you burp? That's what I got. I think I'm gonna go lie down for a bit. I I think this is a... We'll chalk this one up as a failure. You know what? We'll try again soon. Hey. I've got to apologize. I will apologize. But you gotta move him someplace else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I am absolutely sorry that I was rude to you. I really want to clear this up so we can be friends. Go ahead and cut it, Trup.